Hello, this is Mark from Sound Matters and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to answer one of the most frequently asked questions I get over at the website and on this channel as a wider whole. How do I clean records by hand? What's the most effective way of doing this if I can't afford a fancy record cleaning machine? Say a vacuum-based record cleaning machine or an ultrasonic cleaning machine such as the degritter? Because let's face it, these machines can add up significantly. So by the end of this video, you'll have my method that I recommend for getting excellent results on a budget cleaning records purely by hand. Let's get straight into it. Firstly, I recommend using a carbon fiber record brush to remove as much loose dust as possible. If we jump straight into wet cleaning, all we're going to do is make life harder for ourselves. Removing the loose dust first will make the next step much easier and more effective. Links to all the products I will use in this process will be in the video description. Next, place the record on a lint-free surface and cover the label with a label protector. Spray enough record cleaning fluid to make sure you cover the record evenly. I use the Groove Washer cleaning fluids, which I've used for many years now, even before they became a sponsor of this channel. I would highly recommend using two different types of cleaning pad. Firstly, a velvet pad, which is absolutely perfect for spreading cleaning fluid around and it gives some minor mechanical cleaning action. After this, use a microfiber pad, which is much more absorbent and will help take away the contaminated record cleaning fluid away from the record surface. You can just use a microfiber pad, but I find the extra step with the velvet pad greatly improves the results. You can also use this velvet brush to focus in on any very bad problem areas. Say you've got something sticky spilt in one specific area of the record, you can really hone in on that area using this velvet brush. You will feel the velvet pad lock into the grooves and you can scrub back and forth so long as you go in the direction of the grooves. Once finished, allow the record cleaning fluid to sit for a minute. This allows the emulsifiers and surfactants to break down unwanted grime and hold all the nasty stuff in suspension. Lastly, switch over to the microfiber pad and start with the leading edge, slowly rotating the pad to the dry side. This will mop up the cleaning fluid in the process. If a record is very dirty, then multiple cleans may be required to achieve the desired results. In some cases, you might want to even consider a more concentrated cleaning fluid, such as Groove Washer's G3 formula, which is stronger but requires a secondary rinse stage. As a rule of thumb though, use the most gentle method possible to get the results you're after. By using this method, you'll be able to achieve very good results. But when budget allows, you can combine this method with an ultrasonic cleaning machine to get amazing professional level record cleaning results on a budget. I'll put a link in the top right corner of the screen to my video describing this approach. So that concludes today's topic, but you can help this channel further if you like what I do using the discount codes in the description that are there in every single video. You get money off vinyl related gear. I get a very small commission and there's no extra cost to you. I appreciate your support. If you have any further questions or comments on this topic, please do drop them in the comments section as always. And if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board my vinyl journey with you guys. And until that next video, make sure you keep enjoying the records, the music, Keep spinning and I will see you in that next one. Till then, take care.